What's up, what's up? It's your boy, Greg Like Mine and Bozo. Hey, welcome back to the art department, baby. Welcome back to the art department. <laughs> welcome back, y'all. Hey, before I start, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification button, okay? And this this we're gonna talk about, man. Y'all see it right there. I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna get into it. So let's get ready, y'all. Let's talk about it. Listen. This is going to sound strange. This is going to sound confusing. But take one second, man, with me. Come take this journey with me and listen to what I'm saying and why I'm saying that. Hey, a lot of y'all that want to start a clothing brand, I'm telling you now, find another way to make money. Find another way to make money. A lot of y'all that want to do, create a clothing brand, create a brand, you know what I'm saying, clothing brand, man, find a way to make money. Don't start on clothing brand. Do something else. And the reason I'm saying that. Because a lot of y'all not built for. Creating a clothing brand. Because a clothing brand. Can be so complex. A clothing brand. Can be one minute you're on top. Next minute you're at the bottom. That's how easy it is. You know what I'm saying. A clothing brand. I'm saying is so complex man. Within itself that you got to keep up with everything. You got to look around. You got to do your research. You know what I'm saying? Then you got to hire this person. You got to hire this person. Hire this person. You know what I'm saying? For each department, you know what I'm saying? To help you out. You got to hire a person, man, to take photos. You got to hire a person to do marketing. You got to hire a person to design. You got to hire a person to create content. You know what I'm saying? Like if you start a t-shirt business, you probably just need like two people. Hey, one person, you know what I'm saying? Screen print, one person, heat press and vinyl and broader, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? That's it. But with a clothing brand, you got to have help. A clothing brand, you got to have passion. A clothing brand, you got to have consistency. A clothing brand, you got to do the homework. A clothing brand, you know what I'm saying? You always got to be in front of the camera. That's what a clothing brand consists of. And a lot of y'all are not doing that. A lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying, are not building stories behind your clothing brand. A lot of y'all not taking, you know what I'm saying, uh, email, you know what I'm saying, your SMS, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying. A lot of y'all not doing that. A lot of y'all just want to sell, put it out there, man. Hey, I made this. Hey, I did this, man. Post it on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, you know what I'm saying. Whatever it is, y'all just want to do that. Y'all just want the likes and emojis, man. Hey, that's fire. Hey, it look good. You don't want to make money. You just want the hype. You just want, you know what I'm saying, the people to say something to you. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of clothing brands, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you this now. Do not build, if you do decide to do a clothing brand, do not build it off hype. That's the worst thing you can do. Yeah, you can make 40000 Yeah, you can make 2000 whatever it is. But, quote, quote, social media is so funny right now that these young people, man, hey, man, they can, man, they can look at your clothing brand, man, because they always like the new, new. And then you become old, old. So people will stop, you know what I'm saying? Buying your brand. You understand? So that's why I say, man, you went from 40,000, 20,000, 10,000 to 6,000, just like that. You were just on top. Do your research on brands and look at them. Look how they went, look how they went big, and then they everybody denounced it. Nobody's buying it no more. You know what I'm saying? You got the creature, you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta create a clothing brand like you create art. Fashion is art. Why y'all think I say that? Fashion is art. Your clothing brand is your art. You know what I'm saying? The more value you put in it, the more patience you put in it, the more technical things you put in it, the more value it builds. You know what I'm saying? Over time, it get value. That's what you call vintage. It get value. This is like, you know what I'm saying? The older the artwork is, guess what? The more money you get. You understand? That's the same thing with your t-shirts. Let your t-shirt build value. You let your brand build value. But a lot of y'all don't want to put that work in it. That's what I'm telling you now. Do not start a clothing brand. If your heart ain't into it, you're, you're not passionate about it. You know what I'm saying? You're not ready to put in that work. You're not ready to stay up late. You're not ready to get out here, man, in the gorilla hustle out there, man. Pass out flyers. You know what I'm saying? Get in front of the people. If you're not ready to do that, man, then don't start a clothing brand. Period. And a lot of y'all, y'all listen to these peoples out here, man. Hey, how to start a brand. Hey, how to do this, how to do that. Man, don't listen to them. Because a lot of them, you know what I'm saying, like you say, like you see now, it be a lot of lies told on social media. A lot of people is being exposed now because guess what? 
They not doing what they say they doing, but they charging you. They hyping you up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying everybody's doing it, but I'm just, I'm telling you now, you know what I'm saying? Hey, they charge you all this money to take classes, man. And, and, and I'm telling you now, if it was that easy, then everybody be rich that's doing a clothing brand. Everybody be rich. Because this, this, this is one of the easiest market, the easiest thing to start, you know what I'm saying, out here is a clothing brand. Yeah, you can get an iron, you can get, a, you know what I'm saying, some vinyl, man, start a clothing brand just like that. But people don't know that behind behind the scene, man, how much work you got to put in, man. Like I'm in front of the camera now. Are you in front of the camera? Or you just post, 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 post? Are you connecting with your community? Are you collecting, you know what I'm saying, email addresses, you know what I'm saying? Are you, you know what I'm saying, getting in front of the peoples? Are you out here creating, you know what I'm saying, doing your research? Hey, what's hot, what's not hot? What's in and not in? You know what I'm saying? It's not just about, hey, man, I want to put this on a t-shirt and let's see it sell. It's not about that. It's about a story behind your brand. It's about a story behind the culture. It's about this. This is what your brand is supposed to represent. Your community, your culture, your story. You know what I'm saying? Everything, man. It's not supposed to be just a design on a shirt. Do you have a story behind your brand? Are you connecting? Do you have a, a niche? Do you have the target? You know? And a lot of us just don't have that. So I'm telling you now. Don't start a clothing brand. Find somewhere else, find something else to do. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, you know, if you tell people them lies, and like I'm, I'm about to call out people, you tell people a lot of lies, man, you are the bad, bad influencer. I see it right there. Bad influencer. I'm always coming here trying to tell the truth about what I'm saying. Hey, man, this is not easy for me. I, I had to go back to work. It's not easy for me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's why I backed away from you know saying from my my YouTube and all this stuff, man. Because I wanted to be pure about it. I wanted to be honest about it. That this is not easy. This is tedious, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I, I me personally, I started. You know what I'm saying I backed off social media and I I started going in front of the people selling my brand. And you know I'm doing better than being online. But I don't. I'm just saying, don't go online because I'm about to put my stuff online also. But I did so much better, you know what I'm saying, being in front of the people, sharing my story, sharing my artwork, sharing my mission, my message. You know, all my strangers, man, which is my community now, love it. But when I was just posting, posting, posting on social media, it wasn't doing anything. I wasn't making no money. I wasn't, I wasn't selling what I was supposed to be selling, what I know I can sell. Because I know, you know what I'm saying, to me, my artwork, my creativity is, is a masterpiece. I love art. It's a masterpiece to me. You know what I'm saying? And when my masterpiece ain't getting, you know what I'm saying, treated like it's supposed to be treated, then I have to, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing something wrong and I have to adapt to it. I have to adjust something. And what I adjusted, you know what I'm saying, is me putting my artwork in front of people. Me going, you know what I'm saying, to the people. Me presenting myself to the people. Me marketing my, my fashion, my artwork to the people. So if you're not ready to do that, you're not ready to step outside the box, then I'm telling you now, do not start a clothing brand. Do something else. And I'm telling you this, man, because I was once a bad influencer. Hey, man, you can start a, you can start a t-shirt business, start a clothing brand. All you need is this heat press, I'm saying, this vinyl right here, this and that. It's not that easy. People not showing you, you know what I'm saying, what you need to do, you know what I'm saying, behind the clothing brand when you create it. You know, and I'm here to tell you, it's a lot more behind it. It's a lot more behind it than this, hey, putting a design on a shirt. It's a lot more behind it. So if you're not ready to do your research, you're not ready to collect data, you're not ready, you know what I'm saying, to meet the people. You're not ready to get outside the box. Step outside the box. You know what I'm saying? You're not ready for that. Then find something else to do. That's my suggestion. Okay, y'all? Hey, like I said, I'm not going to say I'll be back. But I'm coming with more videos, man. Because guess what? We're going to turn this around right here. And we're going to be honest with, with the people. We're going to be honest with my community, man. Hey, 
You know what I'm saying? If you're not passionate about your artwork, you're not passionate about, you know what I'm saying, starting a fashion brand or a clothing brand, then you're not passionate about, man, becoming an entrepreneur. And a lot of a lot of people, man, are trying to step into that entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying, step into that entrepreneur space and they're not ready for it. That's why a lot of them fail. You bought all this equipment, you bought all these clothes, you bought all this and that, and it's not moving. Why? Figure that out. Think about it. And readjust it if you're serious about it. Reevaluate it, readjust it, you know what I'm saying, about what you're doing and how you're doing it. That's all I got for you guys, man. Hey, peace and blessings, y'all.